Hello everybody. So today we are aiming to finish our tale of fear. So I'm going to read to you my ending, explain to you what you will need to include today and talk you through what I was thinking when I was trying to make sure that I'd moved away from the original text even further again, so that I'm really, really developing my independence in what I'm writing. Okay. The following day, Joe's mum raced out into the garden with a glass of water each for us. Did you sleep all right? She questioned as they gulped their drinks. Like a baby, replied Joe, holding his head down so as not to reveal his dishonesty. His mum looked at me, waiting for me to comment. I didn't, but she wasn't fooled. Okay, so what I've done there is I have still used some ideas from the original text, again from what I've memorised. So I, if, I, if you need to have a quick glance at the text first do so but then close it so that you're not tempted to take too many ideas then of course I've used my boxing up to include my ideas that I've already planned and then basically what I've done is I've just changed the details of what happened so that I didn't run the risk of it being too similar so I remember that in the original text staying out they all went inside and had breakfast I kept it outside because that meant that I had to completely change some of the details which means that automatically some of my words and sentences were changed because they couldn't be the same because it was happening in a different place. So that's one idea of how to make sure that you're developing your independence. And also just by making sure that there was something else in the focus. So in the original text, it was all about the fact that they were eating breakfast. They're not eating breakfast in this. So it's meant that I've had to talk about something else. Just the fact that they're drinking a glass of water meant that the topic of dis like the topic has changed. So that's another way that I've managed to keep my writing very different to the original text. I do need to include some things that I have found that I've remembered from the original text. And that's fronted adverbial dialogue. And there's your punctuation as well for your dialogue. I will highlight those in colour codes as well so you can see where I've used them if you can't spot them. But today it's just the one paragraph, that final ending paragraph to explain the result of the story. What happens in the end and what discussion do they have with Joe's mum or with your character's mum or dad or whoever's in the story. OK, if you do have any questions, send me a message on Google Classroom or Class Dojo. And if you need any resources sending to you, please let me know. Do remember, if you need to look at the text first, the staying out text, do look at it to, to remind yourself. But make sure you immediately close it so that you're not tempted to take too many words from it. OK, stick to your boxing up, stick to your boxing up.